Hey everyone, thanks a lot for watching. I'm lucky enough today, I got Jeremy Foote's gonna take me out for some rainbow trout. It's something that I haven't done since I was about 20 years old, so let's just say a couple years ago. And uh, it's not really my ballpark, so he's gonna help me out. He's told me like little crappy baits, uh, the little tube jigs, stuff like that. So we'll see what happens. He's gonna help me out, see if we can't get into some rainbows today. Should be pretty good. Minus 18. Uh, we'll be fishing probably 22 feet. If, uh, if we get nothing in there, we'll go shallower, see what's happening. And like I said, tube jigs, small baits, crappy baits, finesse baits, and hopefully we get, get into some. Right on. Very cool. Just one quick little thing. Social media is really great for stuff like this. If not for social media, places like Pro Advantage Sports and Hobbies to hang out, have a little bit of a club, bass club, stuff like that. You don't get to meet new people like this and make new friends and have uh, new adventures, try different things. Get out there and try some different things out of your ballpark and uh, you'll probably really enjoy yourself. So thanks a lot and let's, let's go again. Let's go. Let's go. So one of the first things you want to do when you're setting up your hut, ideally is you want to get somebody else to shovel your snow out of the way. <laughs> That's tip number one. But no, it is a really good idea, guys, to clear the snow out of the way, make room for your hut so you're not stepping in water and slush all day. So we'll just finish this up and then start setting up the otter. He was there. You go. See him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's a rainbow. That's a rainbow. Got him. Yeah. Oh yes, yeah. Guy. He's off. On the Z Viber. You get on the Z Viber. Z Viber. Nice. Yeah, buddy. Cool. Air comes on. Bottom. Yeah. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Get him. Nice, Gordy. Oh. oh. Gordy loses him. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. Heartache. I blame the stupid tube jig. Is that what that was on the tube uh, again? Tube, yeah. Yeah, buddy. You grab that deucer? Ready? Yes, guy! Yeah! Yeah! Who wants that? Boom. 
Bonk. Come on. Look up. That's all. Oh, did you see him? No, I was just going for your juicer. Oh, he's crapping everywhere. Yeah, he crapped everywhere. <sighs> Lost one. Bent the hook straight. Really? Yeah. Well, that's almost it for today. I want to thank Jeremy a lot for bringing me out, trying something new. It was really fun. Totally different. Get out of your comfort zone, like I said at the beginning. I was right. This was really fun. I hope to do it again maybe next year. We're about done for this year. But uh, anyways, thanks a lot, Jeremy. This is really great. Let's just tell people what we got our fish on. The one I got was the Shimano Convergence Ice Fishing Rod. This is the new one for 2020. 40 inches long, medium heavy, loads up real nice. I also use it on Quinny to catch those big walleye. Work really good for these trout, even though they're not uh, humongous, like a great big Quinny walleye. Perfect rod for this. This is the new Sienna 500 size. Eight pound Power Pro Super Slick V2 with a little Euro Tackle Vibrato on there. That's what seemed to work for me. And, uh, what did you get yours on, Jeremy? I got mine. I was using the micro tube yesterday. We got that on that one. Uh, I've got mine on the Shimano Sienna rod. Now, this is a medium heavy 28 inch, and I've got that on the Sienna 500 FD reel. Uh, I've got a 15 pound Power Pro with a 8 pound fluorocarbon leader. Um, it seemed to have worked well. It handles the fish, and we did pretty good. Not bad for a day of, uh, day of fishing. Awesome. Right on again. Thanks a lot, and we'll do it again soon, hopefully. Hopefully. Oh, there's a fish down there. Of course there's a fish down there. <laughs>